Hi, welcome back to On the Workbench. My daddy is going to tell you and show you how he put me all together. See you later. Okay, Miss Caddy, off the workbench. I got stuff to do here. This caddy here is mainly made out of two by fours. I use two two by fours, uh, eight footers. Uh, cut them all up, and in some places I had to cut it up and glue them together for the bigger pieces. Here I've got a jig that I made up for drawing the half inch holes in the end pieces to receive the doweling. Here I've got my drill bit. Uh, it's marked with a piece of blue tape and that's my depth stop. I'm drilling down about a, approximately one inch. As you noticed, I've left the end square. It just makes it easier for attaching the jig. After the holes are all drilled, I'll be rounding off the ends just like the opposite end. Here you see I've already glued the outside piece to the center piece. And here I just put the other outside piece on and I'll grab a golf ball and we'll just try the fit see how well the golf ball fits between the two. The size here is kind of critical to make sure there's enough tension on the golf ball so the joints turn freely and not too tight. Here I'm measuring back 3 16 of an inch from the hole. This is for clearance for the joint. Uh, the links are uh, two and a quarter inches wide. Some places that I've marked it, they're one and a quarter, but that's incorrect. So here I'm marking the distance between the two holes, like set back three sixteenths of an inch on either side. This will determine how long the middle piece is. Here we're just uh, gluing uh, the link to the block and we'll uh, just be uh, clamping it. While I was waiting for the glue to dry, I decided to drill my balls, I mean uh, the golf balls. Yes, here uh, we are uh, got the depth stop set at about three quarters of an inch to drill the balls out. I found later on it's uh, easier to drill the balls if you put a flat spot on top of the ball and then drill it. This way you get dead center. I also noticed the color of the balls. They're all different color of the balls. So they all come out of the same box too. Imagine that. Here I've made another jig for drilling the holes in these links. Uh, so they'll all be the same. You don't have to measure out every hole that you need to drill. This saves a lot of time. Makes things a lot more efficient. I like to mark each one uh, just to identify which one it belongs to. This way uh, when they do get mixed up you know exactly which one it belongs to. I use the recessed washers here. Uh, they're number six and that's the number six screws I'm using. Uh, just uh, this way they don't pull the screw right into the wood. Makes it look nice. Okay, all these uh, links are put together the same way. So after we uh, get all these links put together, we're gonna draw out the torso. Okay, off camera there, we made up a cardboard template uh, to lay out the torso and we drew it on this block of wood after we got it all glued up and planed. Now we're just laying out where we're going to put the dowels. 
and once we get those laid out, then we're going to drill them. Here I got my marks on the edge and the front face, and here I'm just lining up my jig to drill some more holes. Okay, I got four holes to drill here, two for the arms and two for the legs. They're half inch holes. Here we're cutting out the torso on the bandsaw. Here I'm just making sure that uh, both ankles are the same height. I don't want one longer than the other. Here I wrote down some of the measurements for anyone that's interested in building one of these robots. I sure had a lot of fun building it. Maybe you will too. Here I'm working on Mrs. Caddy's head. Here we've drilled a hole there to receive the ball for her neck. Here I'm just going to be carving it out so uh, we can get some side to side movement for her head. Should be looking pretty good. Here I'm just working on the cover plate on the back of her head. Uh, this will uh, look pretty nice once it's done. Okay, here we're cutting out her head uh, and after that we'll just sand it nice and smooth. Here I'm just uh, carving out the outline of her face and cutting in uh, her hair just to give it some highlights. To highlight it even better, I decided to burn it in. Finishing the parts, and now we're going to be assembling them.
Caddy and I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself.